So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to find anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it. You might need to scroll down to find it. But once you find anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and then do the same thing. Anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. Now for the next step, we're going to head over to Search and type in Services.msc. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on any service and click on V on your keyboard. Then you want to look for VGC. I don't have VGC because I haven't got Valorant on this computer, but once you find VGC, you want to right click on it and then click on properties and then change the startup type to automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on OK. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in file explorer. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to click on this PC, then you want to find where you have Valorant installed. So for me, it's on my C drive, program files, you want to scroll down and then click on Riot Games. Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and then I have Valorant right here. You want to right click on it, and then click on Properties, and then head over to the Compatibility tab, and then you want to take the Stable Full Screen Optimizations and run this program as an administrator, and then click on OK. Now once you complete these three steps in the video, you want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.